Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's given our praise to the Most High. The name is Only Begotten Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole full leg scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this um a few tweets. Okay, this is gonna be a few tweets. Um and the topic is Brandon T. Jackson's, or this it says Brandon T. Jackson says Cat Williams warned him about wearing a dress with Martin Lawrence in Big Mama House 3. Okay, and this whole conversation about uh, men wearing dresses, you know, predominantly, you know, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian men who are the true children of Israel, you know, you they, they, they put you in these dresses because this is against your, your, um, your the laws and commandments that your God has given you. So let me grab this real quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. It says, let us hear. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So the Lord commanded us to keep his commandments. OK, to keep his laws that choosing commandments and, you know, his way of life and not the way of lives of these heathens. And doing things, you know, um, really, really jeopardizing your integrity for money or fame or gain. That's against the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai, our true God, or, or or the true God, our God, the God of the Bible. Now, in this um, series of videos, it's gonna be it's gonna be a few videos I want to show. It's gonna show you, um, you know, how destroyed our people have become, um, and the things that they'll do for fame. OK, in the society, also how wicked this world is and how Esau is, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, devil, you know, he's a devil. And he does all these things on purpose because he knows who we are. OK, he knows who we are. And he wants to keep us from our power. So let me just grab this real quick. And I don't want to make this too long. So I'm, um, you know, just touch on certain points as I go and grab these scriptures. Let's go ahead and play the video. In the dress, it's a big conversation. Yeah. About that. Did you get like slack when you wore the dress at that moment? It was like wasn't slack from people. Only Cat Williams. Cat Williams was trying to always say, Brandon, Brandon, don't wear a dress. <laughs> you know, he, he called you or is this? No, he was saying it in the media, so I thought he was heckling me. He was really trying to help me at the time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why I'm trying to uh, just trying to make it. Why are you bashing me? And then he was trying to warn me, you know, don't get in the dress. So, the awakened brand, and you couldn't pay him a trillion dollars to get in the dress. Yeah. Was there like, um, how did they present that? Well, you knew right away you had to get in the dress. I did this, I did this scene on lottery ticket. Okay. That scene on lottery ticket. After that, they were pushing this dress on me. It was something about that scene that touched a lot of people, and I thought, I think I was too real. I think they did the same thing like to Tupac. When they you too real, they start looking at you like, hold on. How'd this slip past us? Who's this guy? You know what I mean? And then it's like. All right. So far, go any further. The scene he's talking about, I'm going to show you that scene. Yahweh um, Rataza as the video goes on. But um, he mentioned how Cat Williams was hackling him, you know, in the, in the media. And what he, he realized that Cat Williams was telling him, you know, what, what was really just, you know, being real. Telling him the truth and looking out for him. Okay, this is Proverbs 27, verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Okay, so that was open rebuke. He was openly telling you, you know, correcting you from making that, you know, bad decision. And he's going to say how that, you know, what that decision, you know, did to him and, and, and you know, um, how it has changed his life since he make it and he regret making a decision. But you had somebody come coming to you, you know, with um, well, um, a stern re re rebuke, and Jake don't like to hear stern rebuke. You see, so so you know he said he said in another video how he was young, you know, and naive. You know, now he understands it. And this individual, Brandon T. Jackson, is now claiming to be a Hebrew Israelite. But I will say this too, and I'm gonna play this clip too. I got another video where, you know, he's pretty much backtracking and going back into to the music because he got to make money. Okay, not the music, the damn industry, because he got to make money. All right, so let's play some more. You know what? 
Yeah, he might be a kid. Just put him in a dress. What do you think the dress is about? Is it to, to tone us down? To tone that realness down? Is I think to... the dress, personally, um, is a thing that was, 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 is not in our culture to do. Mm. And I think everybody will want to put their culture on us. And no, not to hate your culture or your God. Mm-hmm. If your God say you can put on a dress and your culture is normal for you, that you have the right as a human to choose that. But me, for my God and my culture, my ancient culture, we just never, we didn't do stuff like that. Yeah. So, I was cursed by it. Mm. I believe it was a curse that went with that, personally. Because nothing went right since then. That's truthful. No one can tell mm. me, hey man, you think it too much, man. You see what I mean? Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. Mm. I'm telling you, I lived it. Yeah. Is there any, like, uh, even with Martin, things went wrong when he did it too. Because Martin is very anointed. Martin is a very okay. strong man. And Stage Spell said that too. He says things about that too. And something, if you look at Martin's Arsenio Hall interviews, you look at him now, something's changed. You know? Yeah, well, Martin, uh, I, I noticed it's that too. Not a too. shot, but something's changed. No, he definitely had like a lot of fire behind his a lot of energy he's got similar to he's me. gotten he's gotten older but i don't think he's gotten that old eddie murphy's old he still has a fire to him too um, i don't think it's an age thing yeah. i mean my dad has a fire he's almost you think seven. maybe it was more of the business that kind of it, it it took so much out of him honestly i think it's a spiritual thing but I, everyone has and he's dropping some you know some some dimes right here i just want to dissect this as i go now he said um how it's against our culture to wear, you know, for, for men to wear dresses. And he's absolutely right. That's called cross-dressing. Okay, and there's a reason why they want, you know, Jake to do this in these movies. Because they're pushing a vibration to, to the youth, you know. This is a modern-day buck-breaking. Okay, this is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto Yahweh thy power. Right. So we not supposed to be wearing no dresses. A man should wear no dress. Neither should a woman be wearing, you know, pants and stuff, man. You know, now they you know they started that with the whole um the whole uh women's lib movement. You know, and they started you know, that's when women started wearing pants. And now they they're so used to it, they think it's natural, but that's not the way the Lord designed things. But also with men wearing dresses, because now they're trying to normalize that men wearing dresses. And that's not natural either. And that's what he said. You know, it's against our customs. You know, it's a spiritual thing. OK. And he said ever since he did that, he, he's been cursed. All right. So I'll go back to that. I'm going to come back to this. Let me grab that real quick, because if you break these, which that which, which, which you know, uh, what you're reading in this Bible is, is a book of laws, you know, a book of commandments. And you're not, and the Lord has commanded you not to do certain things, you know, and giving you laws of things not not to do and what you can do. And if you do these things, then guess what? You're going to be cursed. Okay, so let's go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. We all know this scripture. It says, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. And this is the, 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 the what's happened to our people because they, they didn't obey. They didn't hearken. They have um, these com these uh, and, and observed to do all the commandments and statutes, which the Lord has told us, commanded us. It says that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Brandon T. Jackson, what he's saying here is that since he put on that address, he has been cursed. OK, he's saying since he put on that address, he's been cursed. And I'm going to put this up raw. You know, I I, I ain't going, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let a lot of spirit to flow and, and, and it's going to go where it go. All right. <clears throat> but he said, ever since he put on that dress, he's been cursed. So let's bring it back. This is the, the, the literal, you know, law, uh, commandment, you know, or law that, that, that you are, you know, told to, uh, to keep as being Israelite. That's why he's, he, he made a difference between our people, you know, us and them, because he's more likely talking to an Edomite, uh, you know, somebody who appears to be Edomite. You know, it says Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination to your thy power. Let me grab this in the NLT real quick, you know, just so we can get. See if it goes a little deeper, 
you know the not is, is something serious man all right Just so we can go a little deeper on the, on this topic because a hey, there's a reason why they, why, why, why they want you in that dress all right let me play some more their own journey mm -hmm. i can't say what it is i don't know i think you know for me i can only speak for my journey once i put the dress on and i had that fire that fire was put out yeah mm. and i only did it one time so Matt is doing it three times four times but then tyler perry did he got stronger i don't know the rules you know what i'm saying i'm not this is what happened to me i'm not here to knock another brother because that's their path yeah that's one thing i don't do is knock my brothers because that's their path but i'm saying my path no, when no, i put on a dress path, it we, came we, with it we, we, we gonna knock the shit out your ass and let you know that's off you know and that's love it says deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 in the nlt a woman must not put on a man, put on men's clothing, and a man must not wear woman's clothing. So a dress is woman's clothing. Okay, you men ain't supposed to be wearing no woman's clothing. Anyone who does this detestable, it's like anyone who does this is detestable in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. Right, so the Most High is disgusted with you whenever you're, you're, you're doing this. It's, 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 it's disrespectful, it's a shame. And we are, um, you know, uh, created in the image, you know, of the Lord. Let's see, lock you. A royal people. I'm going to bring that out of my lesson earlier. A royal people. I'll grab that. All right. But, but, but you get that picture. A royal people. And you don't ever see a, 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 you know, royalty doing things, you know, so, so downgrading and, you know, below. Okay. It's not something that you see. It's not, at least you're not supposed to see. You know, it says First uh, Peter chapter 2. And, and the reason why this happens as well is because our people don't know who they are. If you knew who you were, you would move differently. You know, you wouldn't allow these certain things to, you know, take hold on you. It says First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. That ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Right. So we got to show forth the praise of him who have called us out of darkness to his marvelous light. And when we go around here doing things like, you know, that <laughs> we are, um, you know, showing, you know, um, so like you. We, 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 we are showing darkness a, 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 a demon baby mama and a starter kit for for hell that's what happened to me you haven't seen me since to be honest but then i i i i feel stronger though would you like warn other stand-up comedians about the dress yeah i had an interview too where I, I i i would do it i would do it eloquently and say i wouldn't wear the dress if you're chosen you know some people can wear the dress it doesn't affect them but you know, um, I don't know. For me, it didn't work. So I can say I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise anybody to do it. Just who wants to roll that dice? Yeah. And as you look back on it now, you no. kind of would never. If I had a time machine, you know, we was with Marty McFly. I would go back, you know, and punch myself in the chest. There you go. He said that he, you know, pretty much said that. Pretty much was going into how he regret it. You know, all the thing and all the things that he would do, you know, to try to not bring it back. I'm gonna grab a few more of these videos real quick. Degree. Like when I, I connect that, I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down. Like, why are all these brothers gonna wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's... I'm sure some of you have seen this, this video before. Same thing with, you know, the Cat Williams clip. I'm just going to play, you know, you know, pieces of this. This is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 5 or 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So you can't be ignorant. Okay? You got to be where your surroundings. And when you see these things going on, you know... Where this devil is doing doing these things and pu pushing these vibrations, you got to actually consider what is he trying to get out of this. All right, what is this about? All right. Let me go here. It says, um, First Corinthians chapter fourteen verse thirty-eight. 
But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. And that's the majority of people. They're going to be ignorant. All right. Uh, one more. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. That Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And a lot of our people are ignorant. This is how Satan gets an advantage of you. That's how he got advantage of Brandon T. Jackson. He was ignorant. But once you have this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you won't be ignorant anymore. Okay. That's why Brandon T. Jackson said you couldn't pay the awaken me a trillion dollars to put on the dress. All right, that's why he said that. All right, which you know I, I doubt it. You know a lot of these guys that sell out, you know they gonna keep selling out. Dressing here. <laughs> they want that money. They come in. It's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like Dave. Listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a prostitute. Now you've seen Dressing. this. I ain't gonna play this whole thing. Comes, come on. Be me and you. We're going to do it together. We're going to do some buddy cop shit. I said. That's the. Uh... Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's... I ain't going to play all these videos. Yeah. I've right seen there. an interview where you mentioned that same particular quote. If I can make a living without selling my soul. Mm. You said in 2016 in an interview with the journalist Kat Harvey. That's pretty big in terms of the conversations about selling your soul in Hollywood. Um, have you kind of witnessed things that you or you've seen others tend to lose themselves in this game? I know some people now mm. who would do anything mm. to be famous. I know some people that are in the game that are moderately famous that would do anything to take it up uh, another level. I know some people in Hollywood that are financially comfortable mm -hmm. that would do anything to take it up a notch. And this is Jake. All right, now you know. See, this is the the the, the um I forgot his name in the, in the movie. I forgot his. I don't know his name in real life, but he he the one that said but, but barbecue. You know, this is Jake. You know, he um he's explaining. You know, the reality of, 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 of this world. Majority of you Jakes will sell the fuck out, you know, j j j j just to get, you know, more fame or uh, money or power. Jake will sell out and Jake will do things to, to pretty much, um, you know, compromise their integrity. And this is why, you know, um, the scriptures speak so much about, you know, um, you know, the meek and the lowly. You know, because if, you know, if, if you was to be rich, you know, then, you, you know, that, that come with a lot more demons, which we'll grab that. But I'm, I'm going to play some more. Let's just play it. Bring it back. Who would do anything mm. to be famous? I know some people that are in the game that are moderately famous that would do anything to take it up uh, another level. I know some people in Hollywood that are financially comfortable. Mm. That would do anything to take it up a notch. I mean, you know, that's your prerogative, <laughs> but you know. Um, now you would do Friday. You know, we got Friday, uh, next Friday, then Friday after next. Naturally, things kind of progressed, moved on. But was there a reason why we stopped seeing you in more movies? Did you kind of make a decision to, to kind of step away from Hollywood? No. I was never offered a whole lot of men. I was on Grace on the Fire for a year. Okay. Uh, which was television, yeah. not movies. And, uh, uh, you know, I did some bit parts and other things with, uh, you know, I was on Steve Harvey, guess, you know, guest appearance, Steve Harvey mm -hmm. and Tracy Morgan show. Uh, but no uh, offers came in movie-wise that I thought were, would be good for me to do and yeah. that I could uh, I'd keep bringing it up that I could tolerate in my soul now I got off of some parts mm -hmm. that I said I can't I can't do that even though it's acting I just and and then it would start messing with your mind why would they offer me a part like that so far away what do you want me to be a woman for mm -hmm. when you got black women actresses who are funny in Hollywood, been out there trying to make it, and you want to give me a part like that? So they try to put you in a dress? Uh, yeah. Wow. Mm. And it was kind of, 
like, you know, you're going to bite this bullet and then you in. Well, mm -hmm. you got the wrong nigga. It's like a hazing thing. Yeah, you I know, seen so it. You got the wrong nigga. So that's the thing. You got to have some integrity about yourself. And, you know, I've seen this, you know, and this, this is kind of, you know, a lot, you know, really dear to me because when, I, like I always mentioned, before I came into the truth, you know, I was in the music thing, you know, um, and another thing I was doing was I was actually in, um, I was doing business with an agency, you know, because I wanted to be, you know, an actor or whatever as well. You know, that, that was originally my goal. And the only reason I was doing these things, not because I had a love, love or passion for these things, but more so because I wanted to make money. Okay, and I, yeah, I wanted to make money and be able to sustain my, my, my family and family's families, you know what I'm saying? Um, which I understand, you know, now... <laughs> That the only way we're going to do that is in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, because if, if you try to do it on this side, you have to sell your soul to the devil. You have to sell out. You have to do, uh, you know, compromising things um, that, you know, in your soul you might not be able to live with. And this is why Brandy Jackson said what he said. This is why this man is saying what, 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 what he's saying. I believe his name is Leroy, Uncle Leroy in the movie. All right. But he says, so, you know, he says some heavy stuff right there, man. You know, he said, if that's your prerogative, you know, but he said, you know, I ain't that type of nigga, you know, and and, and that's good. You know, you got to there's very few Jakes that still have integrity, you know, to, you know, um, you know, to walk that that uh that down that dark road. You know, a lot of people, they they, uh you know, they gonna go for the glitz and glamour no matter how they got to get it. All right. And that's and that's just the, the, the unfortunate truth about this reality that we are living in. And, 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 and you Jake's Jake, Jake, Jake be so damn, you know, through They'll do anything for, 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 for a chance to shine All right Let me grab this right here real quick This is the, this is the scene that he was talking about That when they saw this scene This is when they made Brandy T. Jackson You know, they, they, you know, they, they came to him about that damn dress Because, and, and this scene right here was improv Okay, so he, you know, he, they told him to go in there and just, you know you know, do it, you know, and he did it, and he's just why he said that scene was so real, which just was a very, you know, a very real scene, but listen to what he's saying, it says, that lottery ticket scene he did is still one of the realest scenes I have ever seen that lives rent free in my head, hold on, let me go back up here real quick, make sure I ain't missing nothing, all right, yep, yeah. Oh, Don D.C. Curry says Hollywood tried to give him roles wearing a dress after Friday after next. After Friday after next, actor D.C. Curry says during Hollywood uh, says Hollywood tried Holly weird. You know, the word the Holly comes from the um the damn, you know, this damn tree, you know, uh, uh, made of hollows, what they call the hollows wood or uh, some along those lines. And it was made for, uh, you know, witch wands and, you know, sorcery. So it's a bunch of sorcery in, 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 in that world, in that industry. And this is, you know, how they keep the people, you know, um, uh, you know, this is how they keep people entertained and, you know, distracted with Hollywood. It says, try to put him in a dress, but he refused. You got the wrong nigga, right? So. I'll play this Rick cars. I'm sick of I'm tired of this man I'm sick of worrying about Rick cars. I'm sick of worrying about the government I can't eat I'm broke nigga I'm broke And you've got the power to change that Kev Nobody else You Kevin if I had the money If Not only will I get back I would change lives so yeah, they, they they was getting they was uh you know they 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 want they wanted him because of that scene, but um I remember too I remember um a while ago, Bow Wow made a tweet, Bow Wow uh, made a tweet or whatever, um pretty much talking shit about Brandon T Jackson for not wanting to do movies no more, you know pretty much caught you know saying that he how he left, you know he pretty much you know left or whatever yada yada yada. Oh, yeah, you know, he went on some spiritual stuff or something like that. I did a video on a while back, which we done videos on all these things. It says, um... Starring Kevin Hart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Kevin has been definitely 
trying to get involved with more dramatic roles. Yeah. He's been doing a great job. I think you even praise him for the role. Yeah. Um, but there was one thing that did stand out mm-hmm. in regards of Kevin wearing a skirt mm-hmm. and a kilt. Yeah. What was more so of the essence about that? I, you know, I love Kevin Hart. You know, anything I, I feel about uh, um, the dress is in my last interview. I already did that. I already talked about that. And that's been done. I think that we're at a place now where we got to look past our differences and love each Why other. Did you, uh, uh, you know, he, 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 whatever. But like I was saying about the whole, um, the whole agency thing, you know, um, I, you know, I was actually, you know, in a business with an agency and I was really, you know, paying them and they were, they, they were, you know, uh, uh, giving me different roles and stuff to, 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 to do. But I didn't really ever even get to do any of the, in the roles because all the roles that they was giving me was on some such shit, man. It was either some, some gay stuff or, um, you know, something I just, you know, wasn't down with. And I noticed that after watching these videos is that, you know, that's really all they was trying to give me. You know, and pretty much that, 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 that's the way that you make it in Hollywood. You know, you see Will Smith. One of his first movies, he was like, yeah, do some gay stuff. You know, but that's how you make it in, in, in that industry. They they, they want to see it. It's not about, you know, you know, talent. It's about how low you, you will, 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 will go. How much they can control you and use you, you know, as a weapon. Really to destroy your own people. All right, that's how this man gets down. Let me grab this right here. It says First Timothy chapter six, um, verse three. It says, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, and to the doctrine, which is according to godliness of him, any man that's not, you know, get with this program and the scriptures and what the Bible says and, the, you know, the, the right way of life instead of the wrong way of life and just, you know, living like a damn beast out here. It says he is proud knowing nothing. Like you. But doteth about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, or oh, um doteth about questions and strifes, you know, pretty much try, trying to make it a debate. It's just truth ain't up for debate. You know, if you can't get it, you know, then we moving on. It says he is proud, knowing nothing, but it doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, uh railings, evil sermonings, okay. It says perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. OK, and this is the problem with our people. OK, they think that gain is godliness. So they'll do anything, you know, to, to, to get that gain. But it's going to it's going to make you less godly. All right. It says from such withdraw thyself. So individuals like this, the Lord said to withdraw yourself, it says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, godliness with contentment. Being content, you got a roof over your head, you know, clothes on your back, food in your stomach. Be content. So, like you, you don't need three mansions because you ain't going to, you know, har hardly ever, you know, see them. You know, you're going to be too busy. Easy, cause all, all, these, all these people are, too, these celebrities of, you know, so-called celebrities and, you know, rappers and actors and ball players. All they really are is high paid slaves because all they doing is working all the time, you know, and they don't even see the majority of these damn, you know, stuff that they they got. And then they can't do what they want to do with their money. You know, they can't do what they want to do with that money. Or Esau take it back. He only let, let, let you buy what he allow you to buy. But you want to do something for your people. You ain't going to be able to do it. It says, for we brought nothing into this world and in the certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment. Let us be there with content. Here's the point. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. And that's how they tempt you and snare you. Oh, you want to go further? And I just post, I just watched this video. It was a documentary. You can watch it on on YouTube. I, sh I shared it in my, co in my community um, post about a, uh, a documentary called, um, it's called As, As, As in Secret. Or something like that, as a, a, a and secret, some along those lines, but it pretty much you know reveals you know how a lot of these you know kids that grow up, you know going you know 
you know, working with Disney and uh, Nickelodeon and the stuff, you know, they, they have like these these managers or whatever, you know, these uh, people that's pretty much, you know, help, helping them in that career. And they be touching on them kids, man, you know, molesting those kids and stuff. All right. So that's, that's a whole whole other thing. But it just shows you how wicked this world is. OK, how perverse and, and evil and, you know. Really, you know, when you go into it, you're going to find out that Satan is really behind, you know, everything that you see in the end this world and society. This world has been given over to Satan, but our Lord is about to conquer and, you know, uh, he's going to establish a righteous kingdom, you see, with his people. Zalakia. It says, and they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. OK, so they, you know, they, they fall for, you know, many snares and tempt I mean, uh, snares and temptations um, which, and, and foolish and hurtful lusts. Right. Because they want more, more, more. So then so then what, 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 what are you going to do for more? You know, a lot of people end up doing things that they, you know, can't come back from, which drown men in destruction and perdition. That's what um, Brandon C. Jackson said. He was cursed. He started catching hell, you know, which I got one more video of him. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet it after they have error from the faith and pairs themselves through. <coughs> Salakia. I'm going to get very close. <laughs> Salakia, you know, these bodies, man. You know, it's getting late, so, so so my damn, my body's starting to give out on me. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But let me just grab a few more. It says, for the love of money. <laughs> so love you. And not money, but the love of money. Okay. People, you know, they, they love, you know, money because it, it means gain. It means more opportunities. So for the love of money is the root of all evil because people do anything to get that money. It says, which while some covet after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And that's what Brandon T. Jackson realized. I mean, when he did what he did, he was erring from the faith and being pierced through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. So flee these things. You know, don't, don't be like these other jakes selling out. It says, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses right so you know yeah, this is why this truth is important man let me I see some picture down here here we go and I might make this a thumbnail but as you see in this picture you got all these you know Jake's you know Wesley Snipes Tyler Perry Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes uh, Marlon Wayans uh, the guy off of Pope Fiction well, she that was a, she played a shitty scene in that in that movie too. He literally got buck broken that scene. I mean that movie. Um, I forgot that guy's name. Uh, what's this guy? Uh, Ta uh, Tarrant. Uh, damn, I forgot his name too. But 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 this guy right here, he said he got groped by a damn Hollywood elite. I forgot his name. Tarrant something. It don't matter. None of their names matter, but, you know, he's, he, he got groped by a damn Edomite at a party. You know, the, the Wayne's brothers, Martin Lawrence, that's Martin Lawrence, you know, Eddie Murphy, Jamie Foxx, um, that's the motherfucker that paid, play, uh, um, what's his name? Oh, what's the show? House? It don't matter. <laughs> Will Smith, Wesley Snipes, Chris Rock, um, I forgot his name too. Cedric the, the Entertainer. Um, Chris Rock. Yeah, that's Chris Rock. So it goes on and on, man. This is, uh, you know, this is, and now of course, Kevin Hart. I might put that as a thumbnail. But that's, you know, this is what we're talking about. Jake selling out. You know, Jake transgressing the laws of the Most High. You know, forcing gain. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab this too. I'm going to the, grab it at camp. I didn't even get a chance to grab it. But, um,. I'll close out with this because this is why Esau got, you know, have Jake doing that. Okay. 
before I go there, let's go here. Um, and I want to play this video right here. I'm going to just leave it like this. It ain't going to be, you know, but you see, you know, the clip. Let's see. The putting on the dress. He didn't do it happily. They realized he was going to be a problem. Something that Brandon made clear when he left the industry behind. In this video posted by Brandon, he explains why he abandoned Hollywood. He told those listening that he left because he became smarter and no longer wanted to be a slave to the... This video is The Truth Is, which I already had these, these videos, you know, queued up for a minute. But I, um, I uh, never got a chance to, um, I never got a chance to, to, to go into it. But I saw that this individual from this channel, Tr The Truth Is, went into it the other day. So I was like, yeah, no, nah, I got to go into it. I'm catching up on a lot of a lot of videos because there's a lot of things going on in the world. And I do want to report on these things, you know, as I find time, you know, um, and I just pray to be edifying to the whole elect, you know, but, you know, it's like I said, it's a lot of things going on in the world. We got to report on these things. But this is a huge thing with the whole Cat, William, Cat Williams thing, which I just sat back and I just been listening and paying attention before I jumped up and did any videos about it. You know, because a lot of stuff that these people are saying, you know, is allegedly and um, even with that, you know, Cat Williams, you know, hey, that got in, you know, got 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 in that world a little bit, too. He, he just t he's telling on everybody else because, you know whatever but uh you know anybody who, who, who who's on the tv screen they done had to do some compromising things to, to get on that screen man all right let's play some more industry what happened in running to jackson maybe i got smarter had a spiritual experience learned who i was learned how to play the game did you know you could be entitled to a five or six figure payout if you were in a traffic collision within the Maybe it's because I don't want to be a slave anymore. Brandon, after selling out and wearing the dress, realized that Cat Williams is right. It wasn't worth selling out for temporary fame. He also realized that the industry was being controlled by people with agendas and disturbing goals for the masses. He mm. didn't want to be a part of pushing that agenda. So he decided to leave Hollywood and turn away from the demonic industry. Well, that was until he needed money again and wanted to make a comeback. Just recently... So there you go. He needed money again and wanted to make a comeback. But I want to touch on the agendas part. He said there's agendas, people that have agendas in this world. And this is the the, the agenda. It's to keep Jake in uh, sin. They want to keep you in sin so they can continue to rule over you. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if, thou, if there be any error against his people and they sin against their power, let us consider this, let us consider that this should be their ruin. And let us go up and we should overcome them. So this is, you know, you know, a heathen talking to his, you know, governor, you know, um, you know, it's like a, 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 a army passing by the children of Israel. And he said, you know, if there be any sin. Um, if there be any error against his people and they sin against their God. So if we sin against our God, breaking these commandments, which the wages of uh, the sin is transgression of the law. And the wages of sin is death. So if you break any of these commandments, you know, go on coming against, you know, the ways of our God, it says, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. The Lord will allow these people to take over us, you know, to continue to, to destroy us. It says, and let us go up and we shall overcome them. And that's what's happened. We have been overcome. Why? Because we disobey in the ways of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, his, uh, you know, uh, law, such as commandments that he set up before us. It says, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their, their Lord defend them and their power before them. And we become a reproach before all the world. Right. So they understood that these nations, they understand that, you know, if we serve in our God and keep in his ways, then he's, he will fight for us. But if we're, you know, disobeying and going against him in his ways, you know, then they can, uh, you know, conquer us. And that's how we just got this position in the first place, because we were just obeying the Lord and going off. So this is how they they got they they got over us and still over us to this day, and, and they and they stay over us. They keep us in sin, they promote sin. That's why they want you. They want these, you know, individuals to put on the dress because they know Jake gonna be watching and they are gonna say, oh, if I want to get, you know, in the, you know, in that limelight, you know, in 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 in, in, in that uh in that industry, I, you know, I gotta do this and do that, and, and, and a lot of people will fucking do it, you know. I don't see y'all type of shit. I don't see people compromise their integrity 
for, you know, false promises, you know, of riches and fame plenty of times. OK, so and uh, all, all this will just just make you think about when this Karakma comes out, you know, that's going to be another, another form of selling out. A lot of you people are going to sell the hell out. Yeah, a lot of you Jakes are going to sell the hell out, man. If you don't have the spirit of the Lord on you. You're going to sell out. You saw what he did in that damn clip of um of a uh, uh, lottery ticket. He said, I'm broke. He said, I need to eat. Some shit he said, man. So Jake, you know, Jake was, and they saw how, you know, that, everything he did right there, that was improv. That came from the heart. The nigga was really trying to get that scene. He was trying to get that role, you know, or whatever. And uh, that's how you Jake's going to be, you know. When that Karaka will come out, truth be told, a lot of you niggas going to run up there and take it. And we pray the Lord don't you know, keep, keep us in the spirit of not taking it, okay, and teaching against it. All right, so um, it says, but if there be any iniquity in, 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 in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them. Our Lord will defend us and their God before them, and we become a reproach before all the world, right? And so these nations know that they know that the Lord will and that happened with Egypt, you know, and Pharaoh, they became a reproach unto all the world whenever they came up against the children of Israel when our Lord was for us. All right. So let me play this. But watch how this guy backtracks. Watch how he, you know, he's um, he said he needed that money again. All right. Pretty much needed that money again. So let's play this. and I'm going to close out. Then after selling out and wearing the dress realized that Cat Williams is right. It wasn't worth selling out for temporary fame. He also realized that the industry was being controlled by people with agendas and disturbing goals for the masses. He didn't want to be a part of pushing that agenda. So he decided to leave Hollywood and turn away from the demonic industry. Well, that was until he needed money again and wanted to make a comeback. Just recently, Brandon did an interview where he is singing a completely different tune. He is no longer the brave man who learned his lesson and was talking against the industry. Instead, he is now denying that. This is after he was claiming to be he was like, but he came here trying to make money. I mean, he was very lucrative. He was trying to make he was trying to make make, make some damn money. You know that, that's what he was about. All right, that's why the little spirit didn't re re really sup with him, and now he's back out there trying to get back to work. There is a group of people that are secretly controlling the industry and pushing agendas, something he stated himself years back. In this new interview, he seems to try and disprove what Cat Williams recently said during his Shannon Sharp interview. If you have been paying attention, so many comedians have been responding to Cat Williams trying to discredit what he said in his last interview. They are doing this because... Let me grab this too right here real quick. Matthew chapter 19, verse... Um 23 it says then say Yahushua unto his disciples very last he unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of the most high it's like in the kingdom of heaven why because not saying that it's, it's impossible for Jake you know to repent and come and come into it but it's hard it's, it, it, it's you know it's, it's gonna be hard it's hard to find why because they don't want to give up that more riches and that fame and Brandon T. Jackson called himself come, you know leave, leaving it behind you know coming to serve the you know, the, the Lord, he found that he, he burns a light, but now he's going back. Why? Because they, they ain't that money, you know, that, 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 uh, he's, he, he's fell into that snare and that temptation, you know, hurtful lust, <laughs> foolish and hurtful lust. It says, and again, I say unto you, it is easier for the camel to go through the eye of a needle, which then a, for, then for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the most high. So, it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of needle, which is like a little hole in the wall. And it wasn't impossible for the camel to go through it, but it had, before the camel could go through it, it had to pretty much, and the camel, you know, a camel carries a lot of baggage. You know, it's just pretty much like a, you know, a, um, you know, a trans, a transportation animal. Well, before it can go through that hole, through that, through, 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 through that hole in the wall, you know, the, the eye of a needle. Then it has to, you know, crotch down and has to, you know, um, take all that baggage off of its back. So it has to get low, you know, hum humble itself and it has to, you know, to, 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 to drop all that baggage. And a lot of these celebrities, they don't want to do that. OK, they, they don't want they don't want to be brought low and they don't want to drop all the baggage. You know, they, they want the fancy cars, the clothes, the shoes, you know, the houses and all these things that are of this world. So what, what do they do? They end up going right back, you know, where they started, you know.
because they know what Cat Williams said is the truth, so all of Hollywood is coming out to discredit him. In this interview, Brandon is asked about Cat Williams' comments on Kevin Hart being an industry plant. Immediately, Brandon becomes defensive and denies it, going on to claim that people call him an industry plant all the time. Cat Williams said Kevin Hart was an industry plant. What does um, that mean? Yeah, that, I was going to ask you, what does an industry plant mean? I don't know. They keep like calling this? me that. We're going to make you the star because you're going to get other... I don't know what, what it means. I don't know what industry plant means. And what is, so this, because this video that I'm watching, it was up a, put up a day ago. So this video right here that we watched right now was six days ago. So this nigga just recently started backtracking. Mm, figures. Every time someone explains to me, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, was like, because, okay, let's do it like this. Let's, let's shut this whole woke thing down for two seconds. The woke spirit, which I love, everybody love. If you're using, and I'm gonna say it right now, religion to race to whatever you believe in, you work in, you're using American money. Come on now. Once you use American money, you're all in the Illuminati. How that? How, Let's do it like that. How that? Yeah. We're all part of the system. No, exactly. We're, all, we're part of the system. You want to get hired as soon as you talk junk, as soon as you say all this cool stuff, as soon as you say, oh, I'm woke, I'm woke, I'm away from the crowd. The moment you accept American currency or anything in the IMF, you are a part of the system. I don't care. That's how. I'm that, tired of this whole, hey man, he real, but he not. He this, he that. You're accepting American currency. He's, you tell me to leave my job religion and you tell me certain religions and say leave babylon don't be a part of the system and but then give me a check i like y'all i can't give you a check now i can't donate to your church leader the, the hollywoods so i can't donate to the church it's a scam so that's why i went my ass back to work and i said you know what i'm just gonna do what i can do have a great time and enjoy my family there you go. pinky blinders there you go. You hear that, as you dude? heard for yourself brandon claims he doesn't even and you, you tell me this, certain religions is a leap or anything in the IMF. He's talking about the Hebrews like that certain religious sin. I gotta leave my job and my house. Da, da, da. You know, he's talking. He's talking about the like thing. He was not trying to be Hebrews like you know, find out. You know, he nigga went, nigga went right back into the world. Let me grab that. Which you know, the guy wasn't doing no videos. He wasn't. You know, he was trying to make some money. He don't know. He he don't know probably the hat the, the slightest thing to being a Hebrews like. But if he came in this thing and started, you know, carrying that torch. You know, sort of, sort of, kind of. But he put down the plow, okay? And that's one thing about, you know, coming into this truth. It's blood in, it's blood out. You don't t just go back into the world. You know, and all you guys that have done that, you have become an enemy unto you. How about Shemal Shah? It's disrespectful. Lord, die for you. For you to go back into the world, just, man, you know, which, you know, guys, whoever go back into the world is the Lord that set it up anyways. But you got in the scriptures, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. It says Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Verse 62, it says, And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, no man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. And that's what Brandon T. Jackson is doing. He's looking back now. Okay, he's looking back. All right, he's thinking about it. Well, he, he went back to work. Let's let, let's let it play. Oh, Why are you playing now? This is ridiculous. As soon as you say all this cool stuff, as soon as you say, oh, I'm woke, I'm woke, I'm away from the crowd. The moment you accept American currency or anything in the IMF, you are a part of the system. I don't care. That's how, I'm that, tired of this whole, hey, man, he real, but he not. He this, he that. You're accepting American currency. You tell me to leave my job, religion, and you tell me certain religions and say, leave Babylon. Don't be a part of the system. And but then give me a check. I like y'all. <laughs> I can't give you a check now. I can't donate to your church leader, the, the Hollywood. So I can't donate to the church. It's a scam. So that's why with my ass, back to work and i said you know what i'm just gonna do what i can do have a great time and enjoy my family there you go. pinky blinders there you go. as you heard for yourself he brandon claims money. he that's why when we called himself coming into the truth he uh you know he he went back because he um he wanted that money and he came into the truth he was trying to make money you know talking about a, a hebrew israelite bank and all this crazy shit and that nigga, that nigga tried to pull a fast one. Look at him. <laughs> this nigga tried to pull a fast one, boy. He was talking about a Hebrew Israelite bank and debit card and use this debit card and only for the Hebrew Israelite. Come on, nigga. Nigga went back into the world, man. He got long dreads. His haircut cut all weird. You know, gold teeth. Jake, 
Jake be, Jake, Jake be on some weird shit. I ain't gonna hold it. doesn't even know what an industry plan is. Then he completely switches the subject and tells the interviewer, if you use US currency, you are a part of the Illuminati, claiming that by using this currency, you are a part of their system, so that makes you a member. This is clearly him deflecting with a terrible point at that. In no way does using American currency make a person a part of the Freemason, which is what Brandon is actually talking about. Our country is controlled by Freemasons. They put their symbol on the currency to demonstrate their dominance. In order to live in this country, we have to use the country's currency to pay and buy what we need in this society. While the Freemasons do own America, us living in America doesn't make us a part of their club. Joining the Masonic Order or becoming a Freemason or selling out like Brandon did is when you become a Masonic puppet and that's when you're in their club. The money is how they get people to sell out, just like Brandon did for the Mama's House movie. This was Brandon, deflecting because he knows himself he is an industry plant. Looking into his upbringing in the industry, he just randomly got an opportunity out of nowhere which doesn't make any sense. From there, his career just kept going and going and going. It clearly seemed that they chose him and put him in a position to win. Brandon makes it clear he decided to go back. From there, his career just kept going and going and going. It clearly seemed that they chose him and put him in a position to win. Brandon makes it clear he decided to go back to Hollywood because he needs to make money. Babylon, don't be a part of the system, and but then give me a check. I love y'all. I can't give you a check now. I can't donate to your church. Leave the, the Hollywoods. So I can't donate to the church. It's a scam. So that's why I went my ass back to work, and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do what I can do. I have a great time and enjoy my family. Mm -hmm. He is selling out once again, just like he did with the Big Mama House movie. He knows Hollywood is Babylon, but he is willing to go back to the yeah, evil to make Babylon. money. In another part of the interview, Brandon once again contradicts his past statements on the Illuminati, as he claims is all fake. What's up? Have you been to a P. Diddy party? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, you're in these crowds. He's trying to put the power bottom spirit on me. I'm bro. <laughs> power bottom spirit. Y'all, y'all wow for that. <laughs> I'm saying, have you... Have you attended? Have you got invited to one of these? Edit this right, man. <laughs> have, have you have you been into these rooms where these and I party? leave 30 minutes for the devil get there? That's all I gotta say. Okay, there you go. That's what Denzel said. Leave 30 minutes for the devil get there. So, and I'm glad you're here because we're talking to someone who is part of you're you're in it. They always got these Illuminati. Yeah, so guys. yeah, you're, you're in it. These Illuminati. So uh, you know, we're just regular people watching. You know, we're just consumers. Uh, I know, what? but it's a scam. The whole Illuminati thing is not even real like that. I don't think it's real. It's just. Big Big Mama. Mama. They, they got me with that one. That was more Illuminati movie they got me with. I didn't know. That was more Illuminati movie they got me with. I didn't know. <laughs> no, I would act like it's some conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. As you heard for yourself, Brandon called the Illuminati, which we know is the Freemasons, a scam, claiming that they're not even real. Yeah, not only is he that. contradicting what he said, but yeah, now he's so denying that. something we know is. We know the Freemasons have a lot of power and so control Hollywood, I, and I, they I, always. I think like that's the point. You know, Jake sold out. All right, Jake sold out, man. And a lot of you Israelites was, you know, fawning over this guy. Oh, Brandon T. Jackson, he a Hebrew Israelite. No, that nigga ain't no Hebrew Israelite, man. All right, not all Israel is of Israel, you know. And if you gonna come to say you a Hebrew Israelite, you gotta be serving the Lord, as the scriptures say, man. You know, you should be going out, you know, to to, to the camp, been at somebody camp, holding a sign or reading a psalm. You know. And start te teaching these scriptures, you know, and I'm making, I'm making it all about some damn money. It ain't all about the, some, some, some damn money, man. All right. I, that, that, that right there is a sign that a guy is, um, you know, not, you know, I'm going to say not in the right spirit. You're making this thing all about some damn money. All right. But that's the point. All right. I just want to touch on that real quick before I end up, you know, going to bed. Praise us. It's been edifying to the old elect. Shalom. Kom Shirala. Baba Ball. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, man. Double honest that us in the apostles of great muscle and taught us his truth. Um, as Kevin uh, Hart, not Kevin Hart, damn, Cat Williams, you know, said this year is going to be the year of uh, truth or something like that. <coughs> so a lot of things are going to be exposed this year, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is going to lead to, a, you know, a, a lot of changes, you know. So be mindful, you know, stay upon your watchtower. Keep, um, you know, Keep, keep, hey man, keep watching. You know, we watching for these prophecies because they coming, and we getting closer and closer to the end of this place. But that been said, I'm gonna say shalom, come shalom, a Bible ball.